All right, guys. Um, so today we're doing a little bit of a different rainbow showcase. Most of the time when I do a rainbow showcase, I just want to see like <coughs> a unit's max attack stat. Uh, but here we're actually taking AGL Tapion. This is his rainbow showcase. Uh, we're taking him into the giant form super battle at stage. Um, and I just want to see how fast I can do this because uh, I remember my strategy that I used last time uh, to beat this, and I just want to see if it will still work. Um, because last time, basically, what I did was I just stayed below 50% HP the whole time, and I had the Harutagarn basically carry me through the entire thing. Um, you know what? I'm not going to use an item here, because if I die, this is just going to be not in the video. Yep, that was perfect. Uh, the reason I didn't use an item there was because Cumber was going to stun the whole enemy field um, as soon as he got it hit. So, that that was what happened. Uh, the Friends Tapion is 90%, I'm pretty sure. Uh... So don't worry about that one as much. Um, ooh, I just realized how good, how much better this team is than the team that I ran the first time, actually. Uh, so we're... Eh. I don't want to use an item, but I definitely need to if I'm trying to survive here. Um, okay, whatever. We're going to use an Icarus. Uh, I'm not using this for Tapion at all. Uh, I'm actually just using this because I don't trust Cooler or Bergamo getting hit by type disadvantage. See, Tapion here is probably going to take, like, double digits, if not close. Yeah, he took double digits. There was an Icarus Live. If there wasn't an Icarus Live, he would have taken, like, 20k max. Alright, 534,000. Not very good, but remember, uh, after he becomes Harutagarn, he gets a 150% attack buff, whereas right now he has a 0% attack buff. Uh, so that is one thing to keep in mind. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm, I still am a little sick. Okay, we lowered his attack. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, with the Icarus Live, actually, Cooler's taking much better than I thought he would. Okay, and then he took 31k from normal, so what do I know? Uh, now, Bergamo here is going to take a lot of damage, because Bergamo is good, but he's better in longer form content. Uh, so, like, here he's going to take a lot of damage from type disadvantage, because he hasn't built up his defense for him. Uh, double digits, really? Okay. Uh, so, here, once again, we don't need to use an item, because Cumber is just really, really good. Uh, I think this is the rotation I'm going to keep. I think I'm going to keep Baby with Cumber, and then my tapion alongside someone oh no this is type disadvantage okay um well that was just unlucky actually he still hasn't okay that took a lot of hits for him to stun actually surprisingly okay he also does lower attack and defense i forgot about that and baby here uh he does have his full passive so that's 2.6 million attack there uh he almost finished off goku actually okay additional normal nice and not quite a transformation a transformation here would have actually been really really good um because that would have just allowed us to finish off goku uh but what are you gonna do i am actually going to use another i'm gonna use princess snake because once again i just do not trust cooler i guess cooler is probably going to be on this rotation actually uh which i'm not a big fan of because cooler just this whole team is just not great defensively other than tapion really uh, I mean, Cumber isn't really good defensively either, but he does just pretty much stun the whole field whenever he's on rotation, which is nice. Uh, he's like Jacko and Chiaotzu, basically, but he needs to get hit one time first. And he can do it as many times as, like, you want him to in a fight. Okay, gonna lower that attack. I guess I could have had Metal Cooler just finish off Goku if I wanted to. I don't know, I didn't really think that through. Uh, that's damage, that's 111k, alright. Oh, did we just die? 177k. Okay, so we're going to transform... No, we're not, actually. We're not going to transform next turn. Unless if Bergamo's here. Okay, so this is one thing. Uh, because this is a giant form stage of Super Rattard, there's going to be a lot of transformations here. Uh, so, this isn't going to be a full Rainbow Tapion showcase, I guess. Uh, man. We had Baby on this rotation. I don't remember exactly what Baby's restrictions are, but it would be a lot better if we got Baby... Uh, to transform. <sighs> no additionals, no nothing. Okay. I only have, like, one dupe in Bergamo, though, so... I don't know what I was expecting, really. Okay, and he's still here. Still not super attacking. Still really just making us go slower. But still here, nonetheless. <sighs> just keep doing normals, don't additional super, just... Yeah. You know, I might actually cut out, uh, like, if we transform with, like, Bergamo again, I might just cut it out. 
this is gonna do like 500k here. Okay, 310k. Uh, see, like, there's nothing really to say here. There's nothing interesting going on. Oh, he's still transformed. Okay. I feel like all giant form characters should get extra key uh, from orbs. Because it's like we didn't get one super attack with Bergamo here, and it just made us take a long time to do no damage. Uh, so how's y'all's day going? You know? Are you doing okay? Staying healthy? Hey, we got an additional super finally. It's going to do like no damage. Actually, if we got another additional super, we would actually probably finish off pick low. No, okay. Well, now we have to detransform because he can only be transformed for three turns. Okay, that was it. Uh, whatever. We gotta risk it for the biscuit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cumber could, and he probably will actually just stun the whole field after one attack. Did he? I don't think he did. This could go bad because <laughs> there is still Goku around who will hit him with type disadvantage. Oh god. Yeah, we just died. Okay. Whatever. We were basically done with the first stage. We'll come back on the second stage. Okay, so we're back here. We're in the second fight. That took a while. Um, so this is the friends of Harutagarn, by the way, who's transforming here. Um, so the friends Tapion might actually be rainbowed. I can check after this. Um, but Harutagarn here is actually probably the main thing that we should be focusing on from Tapion, because really, like before, like Harutagarn comes out. Tapion is really only a defensive unit. He only has 50% damage reduction, and that's pretty much all he does. Um, but then, after Hudegarn comes out, when your HP is below 50%, um, he does get 150%, um, he gets 150% attack, um, and he does keep that 50%, uh, oh, I just realized we didn't get a single super here. That's upsetting. Can we get an additional super? If it was mine, we definitely could, because my Tapion actually has zero crit. Uh, he has level 20 additional and level 6 dodge uh just because i focused on that for the attack reduction i figured that was pretty much all he was good for uh because like his damage like on top of you not getting it very often like because you need to be below 50 percent hp and you need haruto or not to finish the fight is what you need uh to get that extra 150 percent attack um because it was so uncommon i was like whatever i'll just build my uh tapion defensively um and i don't really regret doing that actually um because it's like, even when he gets that 150% attack buff, his attack stat can be at like 1.5 million, but it's not like anything insane, right? Uh, like Bardock after he transforms gets 180%, and it is much easier for Bardock to transform than it is for Tapion to get his 150% uh, attack buff. Any more additionals? No, okay. We, okay, yep, yeah, that's the end of this. Um, so here, if you actually look, actually, why were... Okay, either way, both of the Tapions are, uh, what is it? Both of the Tapions are rainbowed, so that doesn't really matter very much. Uh, I guess here we're just going to do that, and that could finish off Piccolo. Whatever, I'm going to use a Princess Snake, because uh, we're going to survive this, because we have two Tapions here, and, I mean, Baby has good defense as well. Um... So either way, we're going to survive this. Um, I just hope that we don't, like, I hope we take a little bit of damage here is what I'm trying to say. Um, just so that way, next turn, we could, like, take the turn, and then the turn after that, we could transform with my Harutagarn. Okay, that's going to hurt. 127k. All right, whatever. We're fine. Uh, so there's 1.1 million with zero links active. is actually pretty good. Okay, nice. Oh, no. My cooler has no dupes, so this is just a long process for no reason. Uh, five key. There's five key, so we're not going to super there. Uh, and there's another five key, so we're not going to super there. Uh, I really wish they would have given Tapion a four key 170% leader skill. Um, like, that's an extra 20% per leader and an extra one key per leader skill. But the thing is, the giant tr form team is so bad, they could do that and still be a bad team okay we got lucky with the additional super but because he's not hitting type advantage this isn't going to do much damage yeah 500k isn't too much at all we did finish off piccolo very quickly here though uh, just because all of, pretty much all of our hitters on this team are agl 
Okay, there we can get a super. And that's it. That is it for this turn. Yep, one super attack. Uh, please don't stay transformed for three turns. I wish, like, there should be an like SSR of an LR who has that super attack animation because it just being for an SSR unit that you're never going to use kind of makes me upset. Uh, actually, on my JP, I used uh, that Vegeta for a while uh, on Dokkan Awaken because my, my JP account is much less built up than my global is. Um, so I just used him on my Movie Heroes team on Dokkan Awakened. And I was like, ooh, I like this animation. And then I Dokkan Awakened him, and I actually thought his animation got worse. Uh, huh. What should I do here? Either way, I think I'm just going to have everyone target Vegeta. Um, whatever, we're just going to uh, pop an Icarus, I guess. Because uh, we can survive, like, one attack here um, if we don't stun him on the first attack. But after that, I think we might have died. Okay, we still haven't stunned him, and we've gotten, like, hit twice already. So that is actually kind of surprising. Oh, we're going to lower his attack. Did we stun? We didn't stun at all. Okay. Uh, Cooler's also going to lower his attack, so Vegeta can't really do us do anything to us anymore, but Goku can. Okay. How much is Goku going to do? A little bit. Uh, it would be really nice if we could get a double super with Bergamo here, because if not, we're going to take a whole lot of damage. Uh, I guess just from Goku, though, because Vegeta still can really do nothing. Okay, yeah. It was nice that Goku didn't attack till second, and now... Here's my Hurtigarn transforming. My Hurtigarn gets double supers all the time, as you would probably expect from a unit that has 20 additional. Uh, although, we might need to rely on additional supers here, because just looking at it, like, there's no way I can set up this key for it to be good. Yeah, this key is just awful. Everywhere I look, it's just five orbs, which we need more than that to... Whatever, we need more than that to super... Alright, there is a double super, though. Um, if we finish off Vegeta here, while we're still Herudagarn, I'd count this as a win. We are guaranteed to get one more turn after this, which is nice. Super. Additional super. Ah, oh, so close. I think we're gonna finish off Vegeta with a normal next turn, actually. Um, and then if we only have Goku left, I'm only so worried. Especially with all of the attack reduction units that are on this team, because we have, uh, Metal Cooler, we have Tapion, we have Baby... We have Cumber. Um, pretty much every unit on this team, except for the... What's it called? The Super Saiyan 3 Ape Goku. Um, pretty much every unit except for him lowers the DAC on this team. Uh, so we should be okay. Okay. This normal should finish off Vegeta. Perfect. And now any additional supers would do good damage to Goku, but... Uh, I don't even want us to transform. There we go. I, I meant I don't want us to stay transformed, but I just said transform. Uh... Okay, we're going to do that, and I'm not going to use an item here, uh, because Baby's going to... Does he greatly lower attack on 18 key, or is it just a normal lower attack? He does just normal lower attack, uh, but then Tapion's also going to do it, and he has that damage reduction, and then the Great Ape Goku at the end, he has type advantage, so I'm not very worried about him. Okay, Baby. Uh, before I cut back, Baby actually did get a double super. Okay, I was seeing if we wanted to do it again. Alright, 1.5 million attacks there from Tapion is not bad. No, additional normal is so upsetting. Okay, so double digits, double digits. Um, a super would definitely do less than 100k here, so we're living Livia da Loca. Okay, how much is super going to do? 63k, we're fine. And then, I forgot part of Tapion's leader skill um, is it gives you an extra chance to transform uh, like for every unit. So this is this Tapion's second time transforming in this fight, actually, which I'm kind of upset about because, like, the key here is just so bad. Okay, but wait, I think I might have set it up now. Yeah, 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 now it's set up so we can get supers pretty much all of next turn. Now, I think this Harutogarn transformation will actually probably finish off Goku here, which is nice. Um, we will probably beat my record um, in the Super Battle Road just because last time I did it, my team was so bad. Um, I didn't have Cooler at the time, I did not have, uh, Baby at the time, I didn't have, uh, Cumber at the time, uh, so my team was just really bad. I guess I could have brought Great Ape Tora. Great Ape Tora would have actually been a good option here, uh, cause he does also lower attack and he's a support type unit. 
Uh, looking back on it, I think I would have rather brought him than the GT Goku, because the GT Goku gives you 33% attack, uh, but Toru would be giving 30% attack, 3 key, and lowering attack, so he would just be much better overall. Okay, we got a crit normal. If we detransform here and I have to use an item, I would actually be kind of upset. Okay, we didn't detransform, uh, which does mean that Goku's done, even if we don't get a superhero, which is looking like we won't. Yeah, okay, but, I mean, he has so little HP left, it doesn't really matter. Yep, one normal did it, and now we're moving on to the last stage here. Nice. And you better believe we're in a leadoff with a Rudigarn transformation. Yep. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now... Oh, this key here is actually set up very well. I can actually do... Who are we going to go for first? I'm actually going to go for Tapion, because if we keep Goku and Trunks alive, uh, remember that will just activate part of Super Baby 2's passive, so that it will be hitting harder this whole time. Uh, that's not quite a super, so we're going to do that, and then the Purple Orbs will be a super next turn. Um, so the key actually on this like time was actually much better. And... Uh, we're not doing too much damage here. Additional supers with Herudagarn are really good, by the way, because he races attack for that, like, slot. So if he gets an additional here, there he was at 1.3. If he gets an additional, it's going to be higher. No, okay, whatever. Uh, see, it wasn't there because he didn't super first. But either way, we're doing decent damage to Tapion. I don't think we're going to finish him off in this, like, one Herudagarn thing. Uh, but I think we could just probably take the turn after this. And then we'll go right into another <coughs> Rudigon transformation. And then we probably would finish off uh, Tapion. That is another super. Okay. Uh, and then I can do that. And those blue orbs will be a super next turn. See, if you can consistently get, like, two supers per turn, Rudigon is, like, really good. Because uh, 1.3 million might not be a lot. Uh, but if you have him with any dupes, additionals and crits are going to happen. Okay, there's an additional normal. And he dodges for some reason, which, because, like, giant units, like, don't take any damage anyway, I don't get why they made him dodge. That just seems like something that wasn't necessary. Like, I get it because part of the movie is like, we can't hit him, whatever, but, like, I don't know. I just don't get it in the game, right? Because not every unit is based off of, like, what they were in the series, if that makes any sense. Uh, yeah, we're just going to completely take this turn. Uh, okay, and then we'll just give Baby all of that, and then we'll give Tape Beyond that, and then, I mean, Bergamo's not going to do anything here at all. I almost had him attack the end unit just for extra damage, but I do want to make sure, uh, well, not make sure, but I want to see if I can take down Tape Beyond here. So, 2.4 million from Baby, and, oof, and then 1.45 here from Tape Beyond. I don't think we're going to finish this up here. Yeah, we're definitely not. Uh, but Herudigarn should finish it off with either, like, three normals or one super, uh, depending on how, like, the key is lined up. Okay. And that is really the best way to beat this stage, by the way, is just stay at, like, 10% HP and just keep using damage reduction items and taking the turn, because Herudigarn has a 100% chance of showing up when your HP is below 50%. So it's not like you're going to be like, oh, please transform, please transform. It's like, he's going to transform. Okay, so this is three normals here. Hopefully this finishes off Rudigarn. Well, Tapion. I'm Rudigarn. Uh, additional? No, okay. Uh, after this, I'm probably going to target... Huh. See, the thing here is, like, I don't have an int unit or a tech unit, so neither of the other ones have type advantage over any of my characters, so I'm not really worried about the other ones. Um... I guess I'll just focus on Trunks, because he probably has less HP. Uh, I mean, he might not, but it would make more sense to me if he had less HP than Goku. Uh, and then that's a super. Okay. Now, I don't know who here has, like, the least amount of HP. Like, for all I know, Tapion has the most. Uh, it does look like Tapion probably had more than Trunks, though, just looking from how much that first super did. Okay. Can we get an additional here? I, I lost track completely of which Rudigarn it was, because both mine and the friends, Tapion's a rainbowed, 
the Herodogarns will have the same attack stat, it's just the friends one has a chance to crit, and mine has no chance to crit and has a better chance of additionally. Okay, we're still transformed here. Uh if I do that, those SCR orbs will be a super. Nice. So I mean Trunks is almost already done here. So Tapion definitely had more HP than Trunks. Uh Okay. One more additional here. I think we might actually be able to finish off Trunks just with one Harutagarn. Alright, give me an additional super here. We have gotten, like, no additional supers. Okay. And we're still not going to. That's fine. Uh. Hmm. What do I do? I really have no choice. I have to heal here. Uh. But... I think... Hmm. See, part of me wants to lower... Whatever. Part of me wanted to lower Super Saiyan 3 Goku's attack. I just realized that wasn't a super. <sighs> Did I accidentally not grab the physical orb? Because I think I still see the physical orb that I meant to grab there. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. He has like a 50% chance to stun every single time he's hit, by the way. Uh, so the fact that he still has yet to stun... The fact that he is still yet- okay. He's st The last attack of the turn, he's stunned. That's actually upsetting. Okay, and our HP was too higher, so Tapion did not transform. Uh, it do be like that sometimes. Uh, man, the key here is bad. <clears throat> See, here I'm actually going to Super Goku- just pretty much this whole time uh just because i don't want metal cooler i didn't mean to give baby all those orbs <sighs> all right whatever i'm gonna use the sensor bean just because i can and i want to make sure we're not gonna die uh that did just deactivate big bad bosses though i think i'm just misplaying a lot here <laughs> actually uh baby okay so i think this will actually reactivate big bad bosses will it 100k it probably 3.4 million attack stat here from Baby is pretty good. <laughs> and that did a decent amount of damage, not too much. Okay, he took double digits from Goku. Uh, next rotation, it looks like we're going to get a Dokkan mode. I mean, I guess it's not that bad if we get a Dokkan mode with Cumber. Oh, we're going to lower Goku's attack for sure. And then we're gonna have Harutagarn, not Harutagarn, we're gonna have Bergamo exist back there. Please stun. Alright, he didn't stun with the first attack, but Trunks? Actually, no, we're killing Trunks. Uh oh. Alright, we need the stun here uh, from Cumber. So he's only at 900,000 attack stat. This will finish off Trunks most likely. Um, but I actually probably should have aimed at Goku. Because uh, if I aimed at Goku, that would actually lower his attack. Which is pretty much what we're going for here. Okay, 1.2 million. I don't think we stunned him. Uh-oh. Okay, whatever. Lower his attack there. We're fine. Now, a double super from Bergama would make me feel very comfortable that we would survive. If he gets one super, um, if we get supered, I think we're going to die. Okay. Okay, still no Hurudagarn. Uh, which is very scary and upsetting. We'll do that, and then those orbs will fall correctly. Okay, we are fine here, though. Uh, we're not going to take any damage at all. Uh, see, uh, the part of this team that's so good is just, like, all of the attack reduction. When there's only one enemy left, you've pretty much won. Because uh, once you get, like, two attack, like, lowers down on him, it's just he doesn't do damage anymore. I mean, it's going to hurt a little bit, but not crazy. Like, less than 100k, probably. Yeah, 72k. Then 2.4 million attack from Baby. And he's going to lower attack as well. See, at this point, we're just kind of dragging our feet to the finish, but we are going to win. Okay. We're also probably not going to be beat my record looking at it. Um, although, I guess we still could, thinking about it, because I was just thinking about how long I've been recording, because this video, right now, I've been recording it for 35 minutes. Um, but I guess that doesn't count the first, like, 15 minutes when I was just...
doing nonsense and it wasn't this run, you know. Okay. Cooler's attacks at here was significantly lower than I thought it would be, by the way. Yeah, now Goku just, like, cannot hurt us anymore. Everyone on this rotation lowered his attack. Boop. And he's just about to die next turn. I'm pretty sure Baby can probably finish him off next turn. Hopefully, at least. Oh, this is gonna do, like, 40k? 40k? Okay, 51k. Yeah. Oh, Bergamo. Okay. We don't need to see how this ends. Bergamo is just going to sit here and waste our time and do no damage. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm just going to spoil it. We did win this, but Bergamo is just going to sit here for the next four minutes and do nothing. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider leaving a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel. My name has been Blachel Rule, and I'll see you guys next time.